Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Essen Kelsey. Welcome back. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the brand new module, which is 12 on Tome of Annihilation. So this has been streamed a couple of weeks ago. There was a stream called Stream of Annihilation, and this was hinting at the new module. And since that um, mod that video itself and the streams themselves, there has been released some new information on the Ark Games website. So we're going to have a look through some of the things today and uh, the campaign itself. So the um, the brand new campaign is called Jungles of Chol. This is of course the new part of the campaign, um, Tome of Annihilation. So in this, the adventurers of the heroes of Neverwinter to a long lost land covered with dense jungle haunted by primal beasts and forgotten gods. Wakunga, a merchant prince, desperately needs assistance in discovering the source of a death curse which plagues his people and his land. So we're going to be delving deeper into the forest and this world and the jungle around it and all the different campaigns. We're going to be talking about today some of the tasks that are going to be involved, the currencies, the boons and some of the rewards within the campaign itself. First of all, the Jungles of the Chult campaign brings players to Port Nazura, a city on the tip of the Chultan Peninsula where players will meet Prince Wakunga, the prince and ruler of this last battalion and civilization which fends off the wilderness beyond its gates. Players will adventure into the Sohen Star River area filled with predatory dinosaurs and Batiri goblin tribes hidden amongst the overgrowth that covers ruins of past civilizations. So key in there it says filled with predatory dinosaurs and goblins. So we're going to be fighting dinosaurs. So people were hinting at uh, mounts and companions of dinosaurs and it looks like it. So if we follow on from many of the enemies that we fought before like Hattie and also we've had uh, the owl bears, we've had all sorts, we've had the beholder tanks, all sorts of stuff like that. Most of the stuff we fought before we've been able to get as a mount or a companion themselves. So I cannot wait. So um, someone rightly said that it would probably be reserved for lock boxes as the dinosaurs but it probably is going to be um, a massive t-rex or something like that as mounts or, or other dinosaurs of that affair would be a mount. so it says a little bit different um, there's all sorts of dinosaurs rising undead hordes there are perfectly normal I'm referring to some changes in functionality that this campaign has in store for all and we're excited to see what you think so obviously this is going to be a, hopefully something brilliant from this and um, we're going to lead into the repeatable tasks do you find that you can't always log in every day to complete your daily your dailies yes but don't want to miss out on progress towards your campaign? Hell yeah! Well, we have the campaign for you. While the campaign will still have weekly tasks, which give a large amount of currency, the daily tasks in this campaign can be completed when you want. Instead of once per day, each of these tasks can be completed multiple times throughout the week, including on the same day. Your schedule, your way. So this is a brilliant new campaign idea. I cannot wait for this to happen. Um, I don't know how they're going to do it. Um, we're going to obviously see in preview on PC, but it sounds like a brilliant idea. So uh, there used to be one other campaign that they did make it similar to this. You used to be able to go pick up your daily quests each day um, and then another person would have a different quest for you and you'd be able to rack up a certain amount. I think it was about six or nine of the quests. And then on, say, like a Wednesday or a Thursday after they've come out on Monday, you'd be able to rep through all of those quests and have them again. So something like that was brilliant. I really loved that module. I think it was um, Storm King's Thunder when you used to go to the various places within the Icewind Dale area and you used to be able to go and pick up a quest from them and a different guy would have another quest the next day. So something like that is brilliant. I cannot wait to have this new one, um, a new idea of it. I can't always personally log in myself and do the dailies. I do try to do that specific campaign. So as we're in the um, River District at the minute, I try and log on and at least do my 25 evidence of evil every day but sometimes real things happen and it can be a little bit difficult but I love the idea this is something great I hope they implement it onto some of the older campaigns as well I think it can be a great idea to um, evolve upon 
Now we're looking at the currency in the campaign. So to go along with the changes in daily tasks, we now have a weekly haul tracker for this campaign, which tracks how much currency you have earned and can earn in a given week. So very much similar to the Underdark, where you could only... Uh, could gather up 400 demonic ichor in a week and um, this is similar to that so it has a maximum you can reach and uh, it also tells you how much you have up to that point as well it starts off at a limit of 100 per week and as you advance up the center path of the campaign you increase your cap by 25 each step up to a maximum of 175 and also gain an additional weekly task so that's good so it looks like this could be the bottleneck of it this could be the bottleneck the weekly haul of whatever that currency is so um, that looks like it could be the bottleneck in that as much as it was the evidence of evil something like that um, be very interesting to see as you can gain each one you can gain extra ones as well um, but I do like the idea that some people could still rep through this uh, campaign quite quickly um, there's all sorts of other things like that increasing the maximum it sounds like there's going to be parts of the campaign that you can only pay with 150 so when you start the campaign off you're not going to be able to because you have to do certain tasks and able to get it higher so it sounds like they're making it a broader way of playing but they're also still being able to limit you so it will still take a certain amount of time to complete the campaign which I sort of like so you can't complete the campaign in a day or like uh, one week and that's it and then it's done because then all the campaign that um, that sort of storyline would be done that seems a bit boring to me but I do like it how they give you that flexibility of being able to do it yourself and as much as possible I do really really love the idea so far then we look at boons even the boons are more customizable. The first three points can be used on your choice of six different boons. So nice, they're giving us lots of different options. Increases in power, regeneration, deflect, damage, and increased damage, or better defense against dinosaurs, or all options. Okay, so that's amazing. I cannot wait. And again, we get the hint at better defense and increased damage against dinosaurs. So as I say, we're going to be fighting these uh, dinosaurs. It sounds like a great new campaign. Uh, it opens up lots and lots of different things for us. It does sound very nice. It's not as... Um, it's great to see some different things coming into play. We're used to seeing some of the same things and uh, a lot of the old school gamers for Neverwinter will have seen the same enemies come back um, sometimes again which is fine because you haven't seen them in a while but now we're getting something brand new we have never seen dinosaurs in Neverwinter before I cannot wait it's gonna be great it then says each of these boons can be purchased up to three times for increased gains. The choice is yours. The final boon is a traditional choice of four powerful options. So again, that sounds amazing. They have not told us what they are yet. They haven't even given like they did before, which was increases in power, regen, deflect. They haven't given specific numbers. They haven't even given us something to aim for this time to choose around a build or anything like that. But I cannot wait for the new ones to come out. It's going to be interesting to see what they're like. Rewards. Advancing the campaign will unlock additional pieces of armor from two different sets in the campaign store. So, you guys who are trying to get the vivified, maybe you want to just hold up for a second if you're halfway through it and maybe have a look at the new campaign store uh, armor that's coming out in the brand new module 12. It's hinted at this. I did say this, uh, I think maybe on one of my other streams maybe, if you guys have missed it, but I did say I think armor is going to be something that comes out. We haven't seen the biggest influence on armor from a campaign. Um, I think the last one was really Underdark, which we saw a good amount. We used to get pants, shirt pants. Um, we also got the Dusk armor, stuff like that, that had sets. Um, and then after that was the Vivified, which everybody wanted, and the Frostborn, which, of course, you have to have a keep up. Now they're going to be releasing this. Hopefully, fingers crossed, there isn't a keep up with it. I want something not as powerful, but something that you can wear constantly and not have to worry about it as much. And advancing up the monster hunt track will unlock additional aspects of the monster hunt which has its own rewards that you can read about here. There is a link space, but they haven't got it yet. So that's obviously going to be the next bit, which we will keep updated. So make sure you're subscribed to have that as well. And while we're reading through this, I'm going to be throwing up pictures of the campaign and also the actual advancements and the bits in there as well throughout the campaign. So you guys can have a quick look at it as well. 
Once you've ventured into the, dan to the jungle, slay numerous beasts, help the citizens, and all around save the day like the hero you are, you will have unlocked the new dungeon, Tome of the Nine Gods, a treacherous adventure with challenges unlike any you've seen in Neverwinter before. So hopefully it was hinted at in the stream and a lot of community players were saying that there might be puzzles um, and challenges that the players have to do, whether it be as a group or whether you're split up singularly and have to do them to come back as a group. But it could look like it's some sort of Indiana Jones on this or Lara Croft on this stuff. Um, I think it could be something really interesting. Uh, it sounds like it's a dungeon which is going to take a little bit longer than normal and also has been stressed by, um, by Mr. Foss himself, has been stressed as a hard dungeon relative to the ones that we have now. So whether that means hard to the very, very end game people, like the uh, the 4Ks and stuff like that, but it's definitely going to be hard. It's like we uh, first saw FBI, stuff like that. It sounds very good. Something we can all strive towards and hunt for in the next update. We look forward to welcoming all of you to the stunning and frightening land of Chult, and I'm sure at least a few of you will make it back out alive. So that is the uh, the first developer blog that they've released on the uh, Tome of Annihilation and the new dungeon and all sorts of rewards and currencies in the campaign. I really, really, really like the idea of this. It sounds like they've had uh, a lot of community feedback with the currency that you can keep up with um, and all sorts of other bits like the, uh, the repeatable task so you can have it within whenever time you want to do it and also some new areas and soon new monsters and enemies to fight as the dinosaurs if you enjoy this mod or love the sound of this new module make sure you smash that like button leave a comment what you think about it and anything new that would be interesting to hear about anything i've missed or not covered in this video make sure to comment it down below as well Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Make sure you click that bell notification so you know if I'm going live or updated a new video. And as always guys, I will see you next time.